Larry Schoff. Uh, I'm the uh, water plant uh, ORC, uh, or operator in responsible charge. Uh, we here at the city, we have two two water treatment plants. We have our, our number one plant, which is actually 100 years old, just over 100 years old now. And we also have uh, a backup plant, our number our number two water treatment plant, and it is, uh, I think, 56 years old this year. Uh, both plants combined, we have the treating capacity of about 9.2 million gallons a day. Um, normally don't treat that much, but we do have that capacity. Today we're gonna to go over uh, the process that we go through to make uh, clean drinking water. Um, our water actually comes from Lake Tomalex and uh, comes into our two water treatment plants where we start the chemical process and uh, works through our plants into our clear wells and then we pump it into town. Okay, this is where uh, the water comes in from uh, our lake, Lake Tomalex. Uh, the water comes here into where we uh, start the treatment process, where we uh, start hitting it with our, our coagulant, uh, which is an aluminum sulfate and uh, the process starts right here. And then we're gonna work our way outside to our mix, where the chemicals start to mix. Okay, where our water comes into the plant out and we hit it with our aluminum sulfate and start the uh, chemical process. Uh, it comes out here into this chamber and there's a big old paddle in here and it's spinning around. It's mixing those chemicals up. We also add a polymer out here, which helps aid with the coagulation process. After we come from our mixing chamber, uh, the water comes out here into what's called our flocculators. There's paddles in here turning, and uh, it helps mixes mixes the water up more. And as you can see here, we have what's called flock that is forming, and all that is is the basically is the uh, the chemicals that we've added is uh, starting to take out the uh, the different stuff that's in our in our water, uh, all the dirt basically coming coming out of the lake. Okay, after our water comes through these flocculators, it comes out into the uh, basins here. Uh, there's a wall all the way down through here that has small baffle holes in it. And the flock comes out in, into these baffle holes, into these basins. We have five, five basins here, and each basin here holds about 175,000 gallons apiece. Uh, this flock that comes in through these walls, uh, the process is you want you want the flock to settle out into the first 25 percent of the basins that way you're starting to go from from actual dirty lake water as it's coming into here you're starting to see the water clear up and uh and move to the end of the basins here and gets ready to start to go into our filter system okay, as the water comes in out of our basins they come in here inside the plant uh to our filters uh, we have eight filters here at the uh, number one plant. Uh, we also start hitting the water with a uh, some uh, with some bleach on top to start the disinfection process. The water comes in here on top of these filters and each one of the filters uh, has anthracite and sand on top of them uh, to help aid with the filtration process. It's not quite ready to drink yet, but we're almost there. Okay, after our water comes through the uh, filtration system inside. The water comes out here into these two clear wells uh, where we hit it again with what's called a post bleach. And that keeps, raises our, our finished water chlorine residuals up to, to make it safe to drink as we get ready to start the pump process and send the clean water to town. We have two clear wells at this plant. At plant one, they both hold one million gallons a piece. Here at the city of Lexington, we have what's called a SCADA system here that is constantly monitoring different different water qualities 24-7. Uh, we also have our tank levels here, shows our tanks, uh, shows the levels at our, at our uh, service tanks uptown. Uh, we have to maintain certain levels on these tanks to be able to maintain pressure going, going to customers. Um, Back down here to this actual SCADA, we're measuring turbidity on each filter, flow through the filters, and uh, also shows how much 
water we're bringing in from Lake Tomalex today, we're bringing in two million gallons. Uh, we also have our finished water pumps here. Shows how much water we're pumping to town right now. Right now we're pumping about four million gallons to town. Okay, here with the city, we uh, we have a log sheet that each operator is, uh, has to fill out every shift. And uh, we have various things on here that we have to record, basically chemical feeds uh, and test results. We have uh, different tests that we have to run, run on the water, tap pH, uh, uh, raw pH uh, and different turbidity such as filter turbidity and uh, settled turbidity that comes out of our basins outside and uh, uh, right here is uh, Nick Trinity is going to run a quick test uh, on the finish water right quick. Okay, the test that we just did here was what's called our fittish water turbidity test. And all that is is just checking to see after all the process here, after the filtration and everything, and the water being pumped to town, uh, the amount of turbidity or the amount of dirt left in the water that we're sending to sending to town, we have to keep those levels obviously really, really low so it's safe for uh, drinking consumption.